later on let's see if you can see this if you want to make something as slow and so slow out I'm just importing something now uh, importing to the library an apple I just imported this clip apple as a clip art and I'll place this here uh, it's very huge obviously I'm just going to show slow in and slow out I want to show slow in and slow out so that it is dropping from top and coming down so when it is obviously dropping down it becomes faster it is slow in the beginning it becomes faster when it hits the ground that's what I want to show so from first keyframe till 10th keyframe I'll just have a pause there is nothing from 10th it will actually start to drop down so 10 till 35 I'm creating a keyframe and if I press shift and bring it down it will come down in a straight line so it comes from here till here now I want to move show this movement in a slowing out slowing out means it was slow in the beginning and now it will become faster so using classic tween it can become now you see now it is a robotic motion I wanted to slow out so it becomes speedier as it moves forward so I come anywhere in the properties click on the key for anywhere in the classic tween and the properties there is ease okay if you now notice play with these values if you make it something positive value you will see what happens it, this actually happens the opposite of what we want I'll show you so it becomes slower this is the opposite of what we want so what we want is it becomes faster so we need a negative number here so like minus 90 you can go up to maximum 100 and now you'll see it is increasing the speed okay so you can go to 100 let's see 100 if it's there is a slight difference but there is so it drops down so it's slow in and slow out can be done through classic twin very easily in like one minute so this was slow out half of that principle is done so when you, when you want to do anything as slow in you have to use the positive value so you can do through through keyframes also but this is the easier way and also this is more smooth okay and uh, another thing you want you can combine over here also for example uh, if I just zoom in a little you can maybe see it better we just I'm just revising this I hope you all of you know this but if in case no you forgot when it drops down I want to do squash and stretch can anybody tell me how do I squash and stretch this <clears throat> so yeah so when it drops down insert a keyframe and then I will modify this so make sure you're clicking on this selection and when it drops down it obviously stops. now you see when I'm reducing its size it is reducing along the center I don't want that I want it to be reducing along the ground which it has hit on so it has hit the ground and it should squash staying on the ground so I bring this circle the center of rotation here down so now when I reduce its size it goes down one and when it is when the size is being reduced it also is squash squash means press from top and you know wider from the sides so I'll make it a little wider from the side another keyframe a little wider from the sides okay and then another keyframe so that it comes back another keyframe it comes back and now this should be somewhere almost like this so if you want you can copy this copy insert blank keyframe edit paste in place so this is the exact original where, where it was so it drops down squashes stretches so you have two principles covered now drops down slow out squashes and then stretches
to make sure you use these techniques i'm sure you know this already but uh, just in case if you for, you've forgotten slow out squash as stretch Uh, the dropping down is too fast the dropping down so you can make you, you can make it s slower also how will you make it slower hmm yes one is that you make it more more frames the other the other is you can adjust this value over here also make maybe minus 50 minus 60 or you can have more frames here so if I have more frames for this tween you will see naturally it will become slower okay so that's how you manage the frames the timeline all right now make sure you're using some of these um, alpha blur etc which we have seen before so what do we mean by that um, this is an apple right now I wanted to fade out also fade in so make sure you use these techniques fade out which comes in slowly or goes out slowly so if you use classic twin or motion twin you will use you will see these things very um, commonly if I insert a keyframe here and move it for example from uh, sorry fade it from 66 till 85 insert keyframe and uh, just a second sorry starting from 65 I wanted to make it as fade out so it goes away slowly and comes back slowly these techniques I can do very easily using classic twin and motion twin let me just show you what you can do through classic twin first so 65 till uh, 90 and classic twin in between and in the end how it is let's click on the properties click on the symbol and then the properties just a second <clears throat> let's look at this what kind of um, effect you can do you can rotate it clockwise using classic twin. I'll show you what you can do through classic twin then through motion twin again. So how much time I want to rotate I can control through here and also the speed of it let's say 2. So without rotating myself using classic twin I just went here to the properties and I wrote here class, uh, counter clockwise this is the clockwise the opposite way will be counterclockwise and it turns by itself this is what it does through classic tween now there are a couple of more things which you can do through tweens some effects let me just show you here from 90 till uh, 95 insert a keyframe and now you see a color effect brightness tint advanced alpha if you remember what this is its color becomes dark or light or transparent let's select alpha and make it zero so now it will look like it is fading out so from here till here I wanted to fade out so you do a classic twin here so it will fade out slowly so these techniques basically using tweens you have and you can modify your animation to make it more attractive make it more user um, attention seeking when you use these things so these were classic tweens drops down slow and slow done very easily this one was squash and stretch through keyframes this is rotation this is fade out through alpha this is being recorded so you can see later on also so you make sure you insert a keyframe click on this and adjust its alpha property to zero then create classic tween so what will happen really is it will fade away what 
what if I want to do it fade in you see it's now fading out you know fading out it's going away slowly I want to fade in so it comes in slowly also so I, I have to start from alpha 0 that means you see this alpha 0 let me just click here I have to start from alpha 0 and then make alpha 100 so it will fade in let me just do that um, insert keyframe here what is the alpha value right now 0 at 115 let's say 135 insert keyframe make the alpha value 100 in between make classic twin so that's fade in that's the opposite so it's fading in now <clears throat> so these are the techniques which you can use you easily using classic twin and some more using motion twin <coughs> excuse me so let's uh, let me just show you quickly what you can do through motion twin I do insert blank keyframe bring a, a little bigger version of this apple and I convert this to a symbol convert this to a symbol and use it in a motion tween so what we can do in a motion tween when you click on motion tween it automatically copies it into new layer alright so in motion tween what I can do with this I go to the properties effect and again I have these these values over here brightness tint alpha but I have uh, just a second if I convert this to movie clip yeah if you convert this to a symbol of movie clip you have some more values over here in motion twin what values if you click on this plus it will show you blur glow bevel gradient let's try bl blur so what blur does is it makes this effect and it does it in motion tween if but it applies only on movie clips you see this is excuse me this is a movie clip now I convert it to a movie clip symbol so I can see these effects blur glow let's try glow it basically depends upon what kind of symbol you have so if you use these tweens they can actually you know make your animation look better so I I assume you have remembered this uh, a few of these from before but if not this can be a quick revamp <coughs>